four months of working out and studying the playbook, the Michigan football team got back to work March 16th when spring practice began. On March 20th, the Wolverines put on the pads, and what better way to get things started than with the Michigan drill? Some key players not participating in spring ball due to injuries, but that in no way slowed things down on Saturday. I think it went real well. You know, there's a lot of corrections we need to make, but uh, you know, it feels great to be out here. Um, you know, it's just good to get things going again and uh, you know, get things off to a new start. I think it went pretty well. I mean, when you come back from no pads and stuff and put them on for the first time, you have to see some missed tackles and stuff. But I thought we tackled pretty well today as a defense, and uh, I think guys were hitting really well today, so it was good. It felt good. I had a lot of built-up frustration because these little receivers and the one-on -one practice, they have kind of advantage because you can't really get a good hand on them so without the pass. So when you get the pass back on, you can jam them, and that was, that was made it easier for me. While little is ever finalized during the spring in terms of starting lineups, the 15 practices do give players and coaches the chance to iron some things out. There you go, matter, 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 matter. Right, good, 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 good. On the offensive side of the ball, there is some experience returning at key positions. There's also a lot of youth who are itching to get their shot. So we've been working pretty hard. Uh, we waited our turn. Uh, we got a lot of depth at this position, and it's on our shoulders to uh, be the leaders now. We're upperclassmen. We've been through the program, so it's time to finally get it moving. Sophomore quarterbacks Tate Forsey and Denard Robinson are joined by freshman Devin Gardner, the three taking snaps and looking to improve Michigan's version of the spread option offense. But we just need to be consistent, and uh, you know I think we'll be a good team if we do that. You know uh, I think last year we lacked that, and uh, I think this year um, I, I mean I'm seeing it in practice already. You know a lot of our guys are making big plays. So we get 15 practices, which is a, a big opportunity to learn a lot. The younger guys who came up uh, mid January get a chance to get used to the college game, and it, and it gives us a chance you know to build a bond as this year's 2010 team. The defense is getting plenty of attention as coordinator Greg Robinson continues to implement his system. We're just trying to implement this new defense that we're putting in, and, uh, but I think we're very confident. We're stronger, faster, as you were saying, and uh, I think we're going to do good. The foundation of just knowing our assignments, last year we had a lot of blown coverages, and that's the thing that why people start to question the defense. But if we just get down, we do it with this new defense, the coach is going to coach us up. So I think we'll be able to get down and get rid of that mistakes. As a defensive line, we got to step up and find some guys that are uh, going to be able to contribute this year, uh, which is good. Right now, we got a lot of depth going, and we got a lot of guys rotating in, getting good reps. So we should, we should be able to see a lot of more guys rotating in. And as a defense, we just got to step up all around play, especially stopping the run. Uh, we didn't have a great run defense last year, and that's our main goal as a defense is to step up our run defense. The Wolverines will practice in pads three times again this week. Spring ball concludes April 17th at the Big House. Football's a contact sport. Today they started contacting. How'd it go? Well, we had a few collisions out there. It wasn't too bad. I think at the end of practice we faded a little bit, um, but I've really been pleased with the effort. I thought defensively we made some, uh, made some strides. Offensively we had some execution issues, and it starts with a snap. We got some young guys snapping, but I thought we got better. What are the differences in spring ball compared to fall camp or even regular season? You know, the, probably the biggest difference is obviously we don't have to worry about a game plan and, and doing specific things on offense or defense or special teams. So we can concentrate on fundamentals, concentrate on techniques, and do a lot of evaluating. Uh, you know, that's kind of twofold, you know, teaching our guys some techniques and fundamentals and also evaluating what guys are going to be ready to help us. Evaluate some of those young kids who are here for the very first time three days in. Yeah, I think they've gotten uh, used to the tempo pretty well, I think, in three practices. What they haven't learned is how to think and play fast all the time, and that's going to come. I think as every practice goes further, our freshmen, particularly our true freshmen, will understand it, that uh, you know what we're doing and they can play a little faster. I thought it was interesting, not only the coaches pulling the kids aside, but some of these veterans explaining yeah. things on the field. That's the way you want it, don't you? Yeah, that is really key. We've talked to our veterans about helping, uh, being a great teammate and help teaching our young guys, and I really think we're getting a lot of that. And we have a small senior class, not a real big junior class, but they're doing a great job of teaching some of those young guys some of the fundamentals. 
what needs to be done this spring with the offense? Well, we got to execute better. You know, we can't have balls on the ground. We can't have plays where we beat ourselves with a lack of execution. You know, if we can we can shore up the execution and not beat ourselves, we're going to be a lot better offensively. Day one, but Sean Cox looked really good. Yeah, you know, our running backs are, are uh, we've got a good group. You know, we, we lost two really good ones, three really good ones, really. But we have some young guys that are ready to play, and we're going to have some depth there. Coach Robinson, year two, defensively, a lot of work this spring. Yeah, we, you know, he's. Uh, I think the guys have picked up some of the things from last year that we've added defensively. Uh, I think we have some young guys that are going to help us, and we're probably going to rely on a few freshmen to give us some uh, depth as well. But I really like the attitude of our defensive guys, and they're playing pretty hard. What goes on springtime for the coaching staff? You're probably not here 20 hours a day, hopefully. Well, you know, we this is kind of like in season for us is the coaching staff, you know, but we love it. I mean, you get a chance to be outside and have some, you know, play some football and, and teach our guys a little bit. And we'll watch a lot of film. And in the meantime, we're also evaluating for next year's recruiting class. So it's a busy time, but we love it. Coach, thank you. Thank you. You can follow the Wolverines all week long here on EnvoBlue.com, and we'll be back next Monday with another special edition of Inside Michigan Football on EnvoBlue.com.